Hi everyone, M Mao here and welcome back to episode 15 of this uh, Elite Dangerous playthrough. Today we are going looking for Hans Gruber. That's right, the terrorist from Die Hard has now bought himself a spaceship and is going around causing problems in space. So we, being the uh, space police that we are, is going to go and hunt him down and hopefully take him out and save Christmas, even though it's not Christmas, it's May. So we're going to leave this station, which is the, uh, the All In Enterprises, because we had to deliver some um, data here to the Northern Lass, who's on the comms here, so thank you to Northern Lass. We're now going to leave your spaceport, thanks for your hospitality, and off we go. We're going to fly out of here. We need to go over towards the right hand side. We took the landing gear up. Now we've got illicit cargo, so let's hope we don't get attacked. Whoa, he's coming in a bit quick. Whoa, whoa, when we getting shot at, or somebody's getting shot at. Something is shooting. It's not shooting at us. We will fly out of there quickly. I think that they were getting attacked because of the speed that they come in, or maybe they were carrying some kind of contraband cargo who knows but um well we've got a bit of contraband but we need to get out of here so what we're going to need to do is set our sights on Morgor, which is the place that we're going to next that's where we've got to jump to and hopefully we'll be able to jump there and find the nav beacon and then find hans grubar and hopefully rid the planet of the scumbag so there's the Morgor space, so let's see if we can frame shift drive it up. And the countdown starts. See, that first frame shift drive isn't too bad. That seems to count up really quickly. It's this second one. When we, when we ever we engage the second frame shift drive, I don't know whether it's, it's just so slow. If we needed to get out of here now, we, we've got a problem. We'd have been blown out of the sky by this time, and that's not good. Right, we are good mission so hopefully he won't be too far into this space. We'll be able to find him. And hopefully this time we won't crash into the sun like we did last episode. If anyone saw it last time, oh, it was just bad. I completely forgot we were coming out of space, uh, out of hyperspace, and we went flying straight into the sun. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it in the last episode. Anyway, right, we are now going to head towards this nav beacon of this area. Uh, let's see if we can find where Hans is. A bit quick. Safe disengage is happening by the nav beacon. Let's tap it. Let's tap through. There's the Confederation of Dahan. Where is the nav beacon? Why can't I find the nav beacon? We're not that far away from it. Pick it up straight away when we've, uh, when we've got to it. So let's just quickly do a loop loop. Hang on, someone's shooting at us. I hope that isn't Mr. Groover. He's behind us if it is. Someone is definitely attacking us. Let's get him into like, being in front of us because he's taken down one of our shields. Uh, there, there he is. Is that the guy or is this a player? No, there it is. It's hands. We've got him. Hard points are out. Let's start shooting. Right. We straight away taking him down. He's so uh, he's got no chance. Hopefully. I say hopefully. I so need to buy some missiles or something for my ship so that we can take everything down a bit quicker. Because this pulse cannon is. Uh, I, I guess you could compare it to a gnat farting in somebody's face, you know. It does some damage, but it doesn't smell. <laughs> right, so we're going after him. We nearly took his shields down. That's not too bad. Hands, 
Yippee ki We're here to take you down. You're not going to ruin Christmas. Mr. Whoopa. Right then, let's get it. Where is he? He's going full throttle up there. Right, he's okay. So we managed to take him down. Our railgun's actually fired then as well for a change. That's strange. Anyway, his shield's down. We've got him. We've got him on the run. He is not going to be able to do anything against this, I don't think. Deep dive. He's just in our targets. You can see all of the damage that's happening. His shields are trying to recharge at the moment. It looks like he's flying away from us, but we're hot on his tails. Proper doing some damage to his ship. I don't know why. He hasn't gone down yet. He's escaping. He. Oh my god. Did you see how fast he just escaped? He just went from like. Cannot comply. A couple of hundred meters in front of us to jumping out of the system. That is. What? I don't believe. That. I can't believe we've just lost him. That is just... We've done so much damage to that guy. How was he able to jump? I even tried to frame shift after him because I saw that he was jumping. And our frame shift drive wouldn't flipping go for some reason. I don't know what was wrong there or why it wouldn't charge up. But, well, that means then that we're going to have to head to... The, uh, the nav beacon again and see if that tells us where it is and hopefully we'll be able to head over to there and intercept him wherever the nav beacon tells us he is now because obviously he's just jumped out of this part of space if he's got anything if he's got any sense he'd have jumped several bloody galaxies away anyway navigation beacon we're pretty close let's scan it don't want to contact players. Right, there. Assassinate Hans Gruber. Ah, right. He's in the Krushan system. That's where we've got to head to. The target body is Krushan. So, I think we're actually near to that as it is. So, we'll just um, lock and hyperspace over there. And hopefully, we'll pick him up out of space at that point. Then he can't have jumped too far. Because Krushan is only, what... <laughs> couple of light systems away not that far at all so he must have full throttled it away over to the cruise and thinking he's going to get away he obviously hasn't jumped out of this part of space so he's still around here somewhere and we're going to hunt him down and we're going to take him out and we're going to claim the 112,000 credits on his dead force so there we go we are jumped to cruise planet and we need to now see if we can find where his mission is so let's mission objective there it is the mission objective pops straight up in front of us there he is right mr Kuba, you're on your own this time as well you ain't escaping this time so the hard points are out the bullets are about to start flying let's get him behind us he's gone straight behind us Let's see if we can get him back in front we're under attack he ain't he ain't scared to attack let's put it that way but neither are we so here he is mr gruber taking you down sir. right he's he's got all of his shields back i doubt he will have repaired his ship so this hopefully should be a pretty he escaped the first time he won't get away this time and if he does I will go and buy a better weapon for this ship to be able to take things down quicker because I'm not chasing people across the flipping galaxy next time I think if they manage to escape I'll probably just leave it because <laughs> it's a lot of a, it's kind of a pain having to keep chasing things across the galaxy his shields are down. Let's do some damage to his ship now. Come on, fly close to us so that the rail can ask you. 
There you go. Railguns shooting as well. And again. That was two huge hits to the hull of his ship. Absolutely huge hits. So, the shoot down now. Surely he's not going to be able to survive for much longer at all. Yeah. Severe damage to him. He's even got like sparks coming out the back of his ship now. Where the damage has kind of taken over. He is not going to last. We've got him. He's, is he trying to make a run for it again? It looks like he is. It looks like he's putting his turbos on again. Nah, not this time. We've got ya. Boom! Yippee Kaye! 18,850 was his bounty as well on top of the 120,000 credits. That is an absolute bonus for our pocket. Right, there we go. Assassinated Hans Gruber. He is dead. We save Christmas once again for all you diehard fans. Anyway, we have managed to take him down. So, all that we need to do now is hand that mission in. And then, head down to the planet to find that liquor bottle that we've taken. So, I think that's what we'll do next. We should go and have a look and see if we can go and... Um, find the liquor bottle on the planet I think we may be even in the uh, the right system I can't remember if we've got to jump once to it or whether we're actually here we're at it's at the Dahan system so I think we've got to just jump back one jump from Morgor there it is we've got to do one jump from Morgor to Dahan and then hopefully we'll be able to land on the planet and well at, at least if we don't find a bottle of liquor we'll be able to have a look around and have a go in the SRV again because it was pretty fun and to be honest with you the last time that we had a go in the SRV we got absolutely destroyed by the uh, by the skimmers that were on the planet now I found out that there's a way that we should have been able to use the turret tower on the um, on the SRV, which I didn't actually know how to use last time. So hopefully, if we come up against the skimmer this time, I'll be able to use that and actually have full control over the guns that we've got on the uh, on the SRV. Because somebody messaged me the other day saying um, that I could use the guns and lock onto people with the SRV. So, Obviously, after they'd watched the uh, the complete madness that was the bad day at the office video, where we just blew up and we lost our SRV and we lost everything else, I, I suppose they felt sorry for me. And they explained to me that if you look down at the uh, the control panel, you can actually see that it says to you that you can use this turret gun which obviously would be a lot easier for us to use because the last time we had to run away and well that was it the end of the uh, the end of the SRV so to speak anyway we are at the nav beacon in the Dahan system and it's telling us that we have to jump to where is it Zhang's Zhang's crib or something like that. Zhang's claim. Right, so we're going to Zhang's claim. That is apparently Zhang's claim planet. And that is where we are going to go and land. So it looks pretty much the same as the, uh, the last planet that we landed on. There's no water, obviously. And it looks just like complete moon rock. So I guess we could just rip around on that planet and see if we can find a bottle. Who would leave a bottle of liquor, though, on a planet as barren as that? I think that's probably the only water source that is on that planet. Right, let's throttle up and jump to Zhang's claim. And, well, we're going to have to do a, uh, a planet landing here as well now I'm not really that good at planet landings I mean we 
we managed to pull off the last one by a bit of a fluke. This one could be something completely different. This planet is very dark as well. I think we are um, we're obviously approaching this planet at night time, so or, well, night time for this planet anyway. Because as, as you know, every planet in this game has got an orbit of some kind of sun, I suppose, within the uh, within the different systems. And well, obviously, it's night time here. Now, this is not good because I can't see if we're going to crash into the planet or not. Which, you know would be better if we could see the lights are on outside of the ship and you can see that the uh, you can see that the planet is coming into view there pretty close to our ship now if i remember rightly it takes quite a while to be able to land there we go oh no we power of editing and the magic of editing has allowed us to pretty much stop right next to where the planet is. We're just going to land on the planet now and hopefully, fingers crossed, things will be okay. That is a nice, soft touchdown there nearly. Oh no, we've just jumped up again a little bit. We need to find level ground. I thought we were touching down there, but maybe not. Let's see if we can find a level. There we go. There's a level. Let's see if we can slowly go down. And we are on the surface. Right then. Let's get out the SRV. And let's hope that this doesn't end. The same way that it ended last time. Okay, so I also had a look online and I checked out what that scanner thing is at the top of the little red circle, and that is where you have to listen to what the actual scanner does. And apparently, them little like flecks and flashes are items that you can collect, or it could be like this. We suddenly come up to a data point now. Whoa, we, I hope that's not attacking us. It's not attacking us. We're in a perimeter though, so maybe we should get away from that. Let's just back it up slightly because we don't want to just blow ourselves up. We've only just landed on the planet. And, um, well, I've been ripping around the planet for about a good half an hour, actually, having a look to see if we can find this bottle of liquor. But we come across this. Now, as I say, I don't know what um, what this is, you know. And luckily enough, we're not getting attacked at the moment. We're just able to have a look. It looks like a down nav beacon. But it says a data point is active and we can't really do anything with it. So, we get down to the uh, scoop. Is the scoop thing? No, cargo scoop isn't doing anything. I think they're attacking. They are. They are attacking us. Oh my god. Right, we need to get out of here and then I need to figure out how to use the turret again. Because the turret thing is down. Hang on, let's see if we can get a bit of distance between ourselves and these skimmers before they blow us up. Um, they are coming after us pretty damn quick. But at least we've got the speed. I, I'll tell you what. I just don't want to roll this, uh, this SRV. We're still under the tank. There's nothing over this way that we're going for. Anyway. There we go, they're still shooting at us. I've turned us round to look and aim at them. Now, no, he's attacking. Is he going to carry on? No, he stopped. He stopped. He's still there, but he doesn't know we're here. So, we're shooting back at him, but we're not using the turret tower. I don't. I can't remember how to get the turret tower out. He's down at this bottom bit. That's it. There we go. There's the turrets. Okay, now you're done, mate. This is it. He'll take you down. Right, we're 
60% shield, 63% of all. And the SRV has got a dual repeater cannon. I suppose we can put all power into weapons. It should then allow us to fire faster. There we go. We can take him down from distance. Oh, there he goes. We got a thousand bounty for that as well. For killing the sentry skimmer. That's awesome. Right, so now we're back inside the car. And I drove up to this um, data point. Now, there's nothing here. Absolutely nothing here. Um, apart from this bronzite, which... I was able to shoot and it seems to just put some metal or some kind of metal substance on the planet now I don't know how to use this or whether we're supposed to sell this or what but it's give us some chromium now I'm obviously going to use the cargo screen to pick that up but I've got to admit that I have been driving around on this planet now for absolutely Ages. I have got no idea of how to find this um, this mini bottle that could be absolutely anywhere because this planet just not being funny, but whichever way you go, it always looks the same. You know, even if you're following the scanner, it's just the same. So, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to uh, leave this planet. Because I have got absolutely no idea of how to figure out or find out where this bottle of liquor will be. So I, I'm going to have to drop this mission or lose this mission or abandon this mission somehow and hope that we don't get fined for it because not being funny, I could do a video where we look for this but the video could be three to four hours in length. I mean, I've already been driving around and through the power of editing, I've cut out a lot of the stuff. I mean, yeah, there was a couple of fights that we had on this planet and I've shown you one or two of them, but I, I really think that people would get bored just looking for a bottle or something like that. So maybe if anyone's got any ideas or any advice of how to kind of pinpoint search accuracy on planets, I would appreciate you to put it in the comments below and let me know if there's a way that I could do it. Other than that, we are going to get back into our spaceship. We've caught the spaceship in and it comes and lands and you're able to drive up to it obviously like this. And we're now getting back into the deck of our ship and we're going to take off and leave this planet and go and hand in the mission for Hans Gruber. Because, uh, well, that's the biggest paying mission that we've got out of what we've got at the moment. So, other than that, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. We are going to fly away from this planet and I will catch you on the next one. So, until then, thanks for watching. I've been Ed Mao. Bye for now.